And now back to our continuing coverage of Hurricane Ian. As we mentioned, Fort Myers suffering some of the worst devastation. Homes there just ripped apart, cars submerged, debris scattered across beaches. The pictures coming out from this area show the devastation and what we're seeing is happening as well on the ground. CBS 2's Jason Allen live in Fort Myers. Jason, we know this is not the first hurricane that you've covered. Love to get your opinion on how this one compares to ones in the past. It's difficult for me, Christine, to say any one is the worst, right? Because if you are right at the center of one, then that one is the worst for you. But if we're just talking about uh, the the size of the damage area, the the amount of the devastation, this one is this one's really right up there. It was impressive as we drove from the Tampa area through the Fort Myers area all the way down to the coastline today uh, to watch the extent of the damage. Everything from just trees falling to then you see a roof torn apart, and then you see people trying to wade to. Have Houses back and forth in water, and as you get closer to the coastline, then you start to see uh, damage like this. These are huge yachts that have been thrown up and out of the water, out of the river, up on top of docks. In fact, there's pieces of docks back here behind me that that you can't see on the other side of the camera. As you get closer, you'll find boats that are in front yards of homes and on top of cars, and in some places, entire uh, communities that are just destroyed. It, it is definitely it definitely matches up to everything that you're hearing in terms of widespread devastation. Jason Allen, thank you so much. A devastation I don't think even begins to describe uh, what we're looking at. We will certainly talk to you some more going forward. Wow. And you know that the danger's not over yet because no. they're saying even with the cleanup, people's safety, you know, there could be live wires on the ground. There's all kinds of danger that still face these people. There's um, possibility of poles still, you know, collapsing, roofs still collapsing. The danger not over yet for these folks.